Hi, my name is Greg Paglia. I'm with West Roofing Systems and welcome to another edition of White Boy Roofing. Today we're going to talk about EPDM roofs, specifically commercial ones, and how you can save money and extend the life of your EPDM roof. Um, and really, how you can save money is by not ripping it off and paying to rip all that stuff off and send it to a landfill and then have to pay for new material and install a new system over top of that. Um, it's very easy just to re-roof what you already have on there. So two systems that do that are spray polyurethane foam and silicone roof coating system. So we're gonna get into a little bit of those today. Um, the first thing is, you know, what is an EPDM roof? It stands for ethyl polyvinyl. I don't even know what it is. It's very long and very chemistry geared, um, but basically it's just a rubber roof and it gets rolled out in sheets, comes in different, different mill thicknesses, Basically, it's just rubber sheets that get you know, fastened together or fully adhered together uh, to form a roof system. So if you have a black or white uh, rubber roof, um, it's probably e EPDM. Um, but people ask, you know, why is spray foam a good option uh, to extend the life of an EPDM roof? Um, first thing is, it can go right over top so it saves you money, but also it gives you a renewable roofing system. So when spray foam gets applied, it goes over top, it's about an inch and a half thick, it has um, coating that goes over top of that and then granules on top of that as well. So it's a very you know thick roofing system, but the coating on top is all sacrificial. So once it gets down to a certain level, um, the contractor can just clean it and put more coating over top of it and you have a brand new warranty. Um, you should never really have to rip off your existing roof, which makes the lifetime cost of your roof you know way lower than you know having EPDM, ripping it all off, putting a new one on and just repeating that process over and over again. Plus spray foam will increase the R value of your roof, so you're gonna be saving money the second after you put it on there with reducing your energy bill. So there's a lot more ways that spray foam is good. There's, click on the blog, the link is below and you'll learn a lot more. Um, but you know, every roof system has problems. So people wanna know what potential problems do spray foam roofs have? And there's a couple of them. Um, first thing is overspray, so it's very lightweight and fluid applied, so it could fly off your roof and go on to you know, school buses, windows, cars, etc. So make sure you're working with someone that knows how to combat that. Um, the, but the biggest thing is, you know, spray foam has so many benefits that all these other contractors are getting into it, but they're not the expert in shooting foam. There's a lot of heating chemicals, pressurizing chemicals, mixing them together. You know, if the foam comes out too hot, you know, it's gonna produce a bad roof. If they don't put it down thick enough, it's gonna produce a bad roof. If they don't let it cure enough, it's gonna produce a bad roof. So you've gotta make sure that you work with a foam company that's been doing it a while and really knows the chemistry behind it before you go do a spray foam roof. It's very, very important. Um, next thing is, you know, another way you can do, you know, save some money with your rubber roof is through a coating system. It's kind of a newer thing out there, but it basically it's like super engineered paint that's meant to go over a rubber roof. It extends and contracts with the roof um, very cost-effective option. They only cost like two to four dollars a square foot. That, that was like last year's prices without these shortages and everything going on. It's you know pretty higher now, but you know the market's so volatile the price can come down. But you're just putting paint over roof and kind of rolling it or spraying it on. It's going to be more cost-effective um, than doing really anything else. Um, so that's one option out there. Um, but as with anything else, that they have their own problems as well. Um, the first problem is they don't give you any R value. So if you're looking to reduce your future energy costs, um, that's not the way to go. Uh, another big problem is that um, the eligibility is kind of rough. So your seams have to be in good standing order. They can't just be completely ripped off and you want to put you know, coating over it, that's, it won't work. No manufacturer will give you a warranty with that. Um, you have to have um, at least annual maintenance on the roof. You know, basically the short story is it's got to be in pretty decent shape to just put the special coating over top of it and get a new warranty. But if it is, um, then you're in good standing order. So um, hopefully that gives you a couple options out there that you don't have to rip it all off most likely, uh, but please uh, click below. There's a blog post got way more detail and everything I talked about here today. Um, thank you so much and I'll see you next time. Thank you.